Uh, this next audition is an absolute beauty, but it's also Hi. a bit of a marathon, so Hi. get you yourself doing? comfortable, Good, you. put the cat out and possibly cancel the milk. Well. But I guarantee you, it's worth the wait. This girl well, is golden. Panel. It's my number that I'm um, actually going to put as a number plate eventually one day, <coughs> 50304, that's a number for GG Law. I've also just bought in the paper, I don't know if you saw it, but if you didn't, then Daily you. Telegraph, you. page one, page four for the potential Australian item. Finally. Oh, GG, go ahead with your bad self. Okay, so what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to do Vanessa Ramarossi Shine because she is a fellow Australian icon. Yes. Obviously. And you are aware that um, this is her yeah. manager and, a, and producer and co-writer and good luck. Mm, and, and a lot of people have sort of been saying, well, <laughs> what are you doing that for? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> but when I auditioned in Melbourne, I did a U2 song called Sorry, some of you too song. And it was sort of like, you know, it didn't show what you can do and it was too Irish and it wasn't Australian, so I thought, okay, let's pick a good song, let's pick a great artist and see what we can do. GG. The floor's all yours, darling. Oh, okay. Thanks. Grow up and make the best of what you got. Oh, what you got. Oh, what you got. The days are going by. You've been sitting on your ass and you're wondering why. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah. You can give your life or, or you can lose your soul. You can bang your head or you can drown in a hole. Nothing lasts forever, but you can try. Look around you, everyone you see, everyone you know is gonna shine. No, no, Gigi, you haven't got the best voice. We've got bags of personality and... What if I do it again if that was a warm-up? No. And this time I'll put soul into it. Soul? Yeah. Well, what did you have in it then? What was that? That was... That was singing it, but that wasn't feeling it. Well, why didn't you feel it? That was your audition. Maybe I was a bit rushed. Rushed? Who's rushing you? Gigi. This paper that you gave to us, it's kind of indicative and representative of what you've got to offer. No one's ever going to get tired taking photographs of you, and blokes are never going to get tired looking at you, but no one's going to want to listen to you, OK? Really? You don't sing very well. What if we work on it? Well, Every what do you day. mean? Every day. Well, I've had about three singing lessons. Mm -hmm. what, if, for... what if I had 20 it's been or said, 10? said before, but that is a pen, not a magic wand, OK? Mm -hmm. You don't have a good enough voice. Marsha? You know, Chi-Chi, um, we've had girls come in here and say how the industry that I'm in makes them look a certain way, makes the stars of today wear very little, blah, 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 blah. The girls that they have been speaking about are people like Christine Aguilera and other girls who actually sing. And it is their choice to look like that, just like it's your choice to look like this. But I'm a woman, so I'm looking at you down the barrel like another woman. Mm -hmm. 
there's more to you than the value of what you look like. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying absolutely. to you? Absolutely. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking to you as if you were my daughter. All right? And I'd say to my daughter, it's so important that you present yourself at all times as a lady. Okay, as, don't even go there. As a lady. You know, like pouting and, and trying to get over an audition that is about singing is really wrong of you to do that, in my humble opinion. Do you understand? We're looking for singers. You know we're looking for singers, right? And you stand there, and sex appeal is something I love. Sex appeal is a great thing, but the sex appeal and then there's... Too much? I'm glad you said it. Mark? That was possibly the worst rendition oh, really? of Shine I've ever heard in my life. Oh. If I never hear a worse version of it, uh, please. That was, that was just, that was Ooh. revolting. You were playing a high risk strategy, yep. doing one of his songs, so. That was revolting, yeah. sorry. What do you I think? I think tones. Yeah, tone was shocking, yes. Everything um, about it was shocking. The bending over part was just so inappropriate for that song. It had nothing to do with that song. That was revolting. Okay. And I won't say any more, I've said enough. Well, I just think you can't sing, though. Do you want this, or...? Well... Yeah... <laughs> OK. But Gigi, for Australian Idol, it's the end of the line. You Gigi's never... going no further. But I don't want to... I don't want you to think that I am a disgrace. No one In said anything about disgrace. No one about... said anything about disgrace. That's a, a word you just chose. I didn't say anything about disgrace. I'm a woman. I'm trying to be a nurturing woman here. I'm trying to, and that's what I believe women should all be to one another, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to be a nurturing woman to say yeah. to you. Calm, calm down? Well, Maybe. chill out a bit. Yeah. You know? Just chill out a bit. That's all I'm saying to you. Hmm. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. It's good. Thank Bye. you, JJ. You know, when I walk out of here, I will think about these things. And I'm, I'll still be doing entertainment somewhere along the line. But every time I do something, or maybe just leave the house or something, I will sort of think, hang on a minute. But I don't know if it will change me. I think I'll just keep on being. Are you happy the way you are? Yeah. Good. See you later. All right. Here's all your stuff. And thank you very much for entertaining us all. Okay? Sorry. No, don't be sorry, darling. The end of conversation. Okay. Good night.